right, Alice, there's this guy on Facebook. He's selling my dream camera. He sent me photos, videos, the whole thing. Can I buy it? All right. I guess it sounds fine. As long as it's not a scam. It's not a scam. Before every wedding I shoot, I rent this camera, the Sony a7S III. It's the Pablo Sanchez of cameras. 10-bit, 422, 4K 120, dual native ISO. This camera will see better than your eyes can. And after working for months, I finally saved up the cash to purchase it for myself. And then I learned about Facebook groups. I joined all of them. But the best group of all was Sony Buy and Sell, a wonderful place where people all over the world can purchase used camera gear. So of course I posted. And within minutes, I had a response. A man will call Howard. So I messaged him. We talked back and forth and let it be known I did my due diligence. He sent me a video with the camera in the box. I am sending video. Said my um, actual name. Nate Bustamante. If you do have any question, just, just We even talked on the chat. phone. He told me about his dreams of being a filmmaker and we were low key friends. And that's when I started to ignore several shockingly obvious red flags. And so I sent Howard a lot of money. All I had to do was wait for my dream camera to be delivered. But it never came. Howard blocked me. Only your grandparents are allowed to get scammed on Facebook. My money was gone, no camera came to my door, and I felt like an idiot. And then I got a message from a guy we'll call Kevin. Kevin got scammed too. I was looking for the Sony lens and then we talk on the phone, like we share our interests. I trusted him a little bit and then I transferred him and then he goes to me after that. And that's when Kevin gave me an idea. And I really wish we could talk to him about it, why he scammed people. I emailed the account I sent money to and got the strangest message ever, which led me to Luke, Howard's burner account. Howard used both of these accounts to scam people in the Sony group. Well, Let's scam them back. I created a fake Facebook and messaged Luke. Although I got way too cute with it. Turns out I'm a terrible scammer. So I brought in the big guns. My boy Jesse joined the Facebook page, messaged Luke, and he got a phone number. And so two days later, I got on the phone with Luke slash Howard. Hello? Uh, is this, is this, hey, this is Jesse. Yeah, hello, bro. I can ship it today. Um, I played along for a little bit, and then it was time for a confrontation. Yeah, I do, I do have one more question for you. Of course, do I? Uh, why do you scam people? Sorry? Why do you scam people? What do you mean? Do you have any proof? Do you have, do you have, do you have any proof? Well, People work really hard for their money and you're just stealing from them. Even if they try, they can find me, you know? <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> I'm not worried about anybody finding you. I just want you to stop. It, you don't have a control with that. But here's the thing. People know about you now. You're not doing a very good job of scamming. I'm good with it, actually. It's been a decade. Why, is it hard to find a real job? I do have a real job. I'm working right now. But scamming is not a job. I know that. That's just a part-time. I need it for a treatment, but I don't need to elaborate that one for you. I mean, I, I understand that things are hard, but just because you're hurting doesn't mean that you need to hurt other people. Do you go to sleep at night knowing that what you're doing is hurting people? I know. I know it's hard and it's kind of hard to explain. You don't understand that. Why why are you doing this? Why are you asking for this kind of conversation? You know, you're going to continue to get away with it. You're really good at that. But what if you used your gifts and your talents of scamming people? I mean, you know so much about cameras. Why Why don't you start a video business? Why don't you take photos? You're so... You're so knowledgeable and you have really good skills. What if instead of scamming people with those skills, you use them for good? You have a point. 
Try the hard to explain, and you will understand that. Well, you can hear my voice that I, I, I care about you, and I want you to be doing the right things. You know, I think you need somebody to tell you that there's a better option, there's a better way, and I think that's why we're on the phone right now. I'll try. Maybe, maybe this, okay. maybe this is a wake up call for you. You know, but I'll think about it. Thank you. I couldn't help but feel sorry for Howard. Don't get me wrong, what he's doing, it's not okay. And there should be some serious consequences. But I could just hear it in his voice. He was stuck. A decade of scamming. He's in way too deep. And I don't want to be naive to the fact that he's probably going to continue scamming. But I'd like to believe that after our conversation, maybe he's, he's rethinking it. Maybe there's another way. I ended up getting my money back through my bank, and I never heard from Howard again. But after all that, I still didn't have my dream camera. And I get it. I should probably cut my losses and call it a day. But that's a lame ending. You remember my friend Kevin? I have the A7S III if you are interested. And I'm not going to lie, I was kind of skeptical. But it was real. I got my dream camera. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> and through all this craziness, I learned two things. The first, the internet is a scary place. And I got to be more careful. And the second, a little harder to learn. My wife is always right. Yeah, my wife is always right. Sparkling.